Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today we are going to be checking out some of the best new Android games. So let's get right into the first one. Gangster New Orleans is the first game on today's list. With epic graphics and thrilling open world gameplay, it is arguably one of the best Android games of 2017. It is pretty much like GTA but more, much more optimized than the GTA games for mobile. The graphics are not realistic. I think the developers didn't really want to make it realistic. They want the graphics to be more like mobile game graphics. So the game will run smoothly on most of the devices and they can focus on making the overall gameplay better. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. It is free, so why not? Side-scrolling racing games are on the rise after the huge success of Hill Climb Racing. Big Bang Racing follows the same path and I really like this game. The controls are basic and simple, kids will love this game and it will be a really good game for passing some time for teens as well. Space Frontier is a very stupid and simple game and I think that's what made it so addictive. Basically in this game you have to tap at the right time to launch a rocket without blowing it up. You need to tap to release each stage or part of the rocket at the right time in order to launch it properly. I'm a big fan of football and I love to play both FIFA and PES on my PC whenever I get time. PES has a mobile game for you guys to play, it is pretty good compared to other football games available for mobile. It has an online multiplayer mode, you can compete against other users real time. It will be a 10 out of 10 game if they had implemented a good control system. Uh, we just need 3 buttons and a d-pad, that's enough. The side controls or one touch controls are really really hard to execute and the button controls are way too complex in this game. But with that being said, it is one of the best sports games for Android. Carmageddon Crasher seems like a game that a lot of people, especially young boys, want to play because it involves cars and crashing them. So this one is basically a different take on drag racing games. All you need to do in this game is shift gear at the right time and hit their opponent's car with maximum speed to win the round. That's pretty much it. <laughs> FPS games were not really a thing in mobile gaming but this game Deadheads is a better version of pretty much all the all of the FPS action games that I have played in the past. The controls are laid out pretty conveniently, the graphics are incredible for how light the game is and each stage has an objective so you won't really get bored and it also has a multiplayer mode. I don't really get time to play games on mobile but when I have time I find games on mobile too boring or not suited for the mood. For the past few weeks I found myself playing this game Yam Gun a lot. It is not a graphically demanding game but the game mechanics and the overall gameplay is so fun. It is quite addictive. In this game you have to protect the wall from the enemies. Go check it out. It is awesome. I have another FPS game for you guys, Guns of Boom. This one is a multiplayer game and you play with and against a bunch of random people and you basically have to kill as much as enemies as possible to earn more points. The controls are simple and there is a good collection of weapons as well and the multiplayer gameplay experience is very stable. And that's pretty much it guys, hope you guys like this episode and I will talk to you guys in my next video, goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin